In this example, we want to solve the initial value problem, y double prime plus 10y prime plus 25y equals 0, with y of 0 equals 3 and y prime of 0 equals negative 6. So to start this, we want to find the characteristic equation for this problem, which is r squared plus 10r plus 25 equals 0, and this factors as r plus 5 quantity squared. So we see that we have a double root or a repeated root at negative 5 which means that our general solution can be written as y of t is c1 e to the minus 5t plus c2 times t e to the minus 5t. And now we need to meet the initial conditions. So we'll do it by first taking the derivative of this function. So y prime is going to be negative 5 c1 e to the minus 5t plus a product rule on the second term, c2 times e to the minus 5t when I differentiate the t minus 5c2 t e to the minus 5t when differentiate the exponential term. Now I can plug in 0 to the initial conditions part. So y of 0 is just c1 because the second term here vanishes because of this t. And y prime of 0 is negative 5c1 plus c2 where again this term vanishes because of the t that's in it. Now based on the problem statement I want this to equal 3 and this to equal negative 6 which means I get that c1 must be 3, and plugging in 3 into the second equation, negative 6 equals negative 15 plus c2 means c2 equals 9. So therefore, the solution to the value problem is y of t is 3 e to the minus 5t plus 9t e to the minus 5t. And that's how you set up and solve these sorts of initial value problems for second order linear equations with repeated roots of the characteristic equation.